Hey guys, uh, with this particular slide, we are starting a new part of the campus placement series that's get ready for the round one. Uh, as the name suggests, this particular entire series is basically preparing you for the round one of almost every single company that either comes to the placement or you go outside. And not only limited to that, almost all the entrance exam, whether CAT, GATE, GRE, all of them have these components for sure. And that's for a very simple reason that these basically tests how do you uh, solve a problem? What's your right approach to solve a problem? Now, uh, some of the exams will give you 10 questions and 15 minutes or 20 minutes to give like two minutes per question. And you just have to get the right answer with a simple uh, logic behind that. Sometimes you'll get much more complicated questions like five questions and 30 minutes. In those, getting the answer, the logic behind it is way too difficult. And it's not against the time. It's just that you have to solve the right questions. So there are multiple exams, multiple scenarios. Every company has their own way of testing all these things. Uh, you will be the right judge to do that particular thing while you're sitting in the exam. But uh, what, uh, as most of us know that more time you spend before preparing in the exam, less time you have to solve the problems there. So this particular series will have uh, these eight components, uh, sequence and series, blood relation, direct, uh, direction test, statement and conclusion, mathematical operation, coding, decoding, statement and assumption. And these practice set one, set two will basically be like uh, if X number of questions is given to solve in Y, uh, y minutes, uh, what should be your approach based on if you are not able to solve questions, what should be your approach? So basically we'll see all the different test scenarios and how you should behave in any of those. Okay. Uh, now this particular thing is best to our estimation. There is no one way of solving tests for everyone. You can go for that. but uh, for other seven sections here, these are the common sections for almost all the questions that falls into the reasoning and aptitude category. Uh, we will start with sequence and series in this uh, sequence and we'll move ahead to see all the other sections. The approach here will not only be to teach you how to solve a particular problem. It would be that how you should think or what should be your step-by-step uh, -step approach to solve a problem. Okay. Uh, because getting one of the patterns almost in all these questions, getting the right terms and right meaning out of the question is not that difficult. It's just that you should do it in the right sequence and at the right time. If you take a lot more to solve a particular question, you may miss out on other questions. So it's all about balancing and the right step of thinking every single time. Right. So getting into sequence and series, uh, the question that we actually get in this particular section uh, is of this sort of an order which uh, usually have uh, problems like, okay, you have four or five terms given here. What would be the next two terms? Or uh, you have a particular series. What will be this missing term? Uh, similarly, missing term at the end. Or you maybe said that, okay, this is a series. One of the terms is actually an odd one out. Figure out which particular one is that. So in almost, almost all of these, uh, the very basic arithmetic and geometric progression that we have studied, not the formula based, but uh, the logical uh, increment or decrement that you have to see. Uh, in a particular series, what is the pattern, what all different patterns can be there. So not to memorize any of the formula, we will actually approach these things looking at the numbers, having a brief guess. How do you guess the uh, brief uh, logic like around what sort of pattern is there in this? And then how do you go down to it? Uh, another approach, we will not actually put options on the board because options just take a lot more time. We will uh, do a couple of questions in which options will actually give you the answer without solving the problems. Except for those scenarios, looking at the option is just a waste of time in these scenarios because you will not be able to drop down to the answer just by looking at the option. Plus, if you look at the option, you try to get through a shortcut, which is a good option uh, when you don't know the answers. But while learning, it shouldn't be a right approach. Uh, the right approach should be so that you can actually solve those problems, assuming that the options are so very well set that you'll not be able to guess around all those things. Okay. So following this will be a very uh, long series of some 20, 30 questions in sequence and series. And I hope that all of you like that.